Hello, I'm Ellie for Edu for Java and this is the tutorial number 4 of Java Web. In this tutorial we're going to see how to use Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. Until now we have been using Eclipse Classic to compile the servlets. After we copied the .class files manually into the folder web inf classes, of the installation of Tomcat. There is an easiest way to do the same, using this version of Eclipse, which automatically copies everything to the server. It also avoids us from restarting the server each time. This version includes HTML and GCP editors, which will make the future work easier. When we work in Java EE, normally we use this type of editor. The first thing we're going to do is download and install the Eclipse. Here we have a link which takes us to Eclipse or downloads, and this is the one we want to download, Eclipse ID for Java EE developers. I've got Windows 64, so this is what I'm interested in. Download, open, here it is downloading. I'm going to decompress it in my unit C here. Okay, here we are. Drag and drop. Okay, here we have it now. I'm going to call it Eclipse GEE2. So here I have my installation of Eclipse, inside that I'm going to have a new folder called work Workspace, my work area. I'm going to run my Eclipse, it asks for the workspace, I'm going to set the workspace we have just created. Use this as the default. Okay, we leave it running there. We're going to the page. Once we have it installed and we have indicated the workspace, we're going to register the Tomcat server in Eclipse. For, for this, we go to Eclipse. We come back to Eclipse and we look for the tag server. Here it is. New server, Apache. We're going to get the version we are using. I think it's this one. Next. Here we write where is the installation directory. Finish. Here we can see our Tomcat server in, in Eclipse. Now we're going to create a web project called First GE. New Web Dynamic Web Project. We call it First GE. In target runtime, we can see the servers I have installed. I only have this one, so but if you had GBoss, for example, you could choose between those. Finish, and we have we're going to have our project installed. Here we are. Here, inside here, we can see our project structure. We can see there's a folder called Java resource which has a folder called source. Inside here we're going to put our Java code and the resources files. We also have another important folder called web contents. Here we have the folder webinf and the web xml. If you remember, here we have the structure we have already seen. This web xml 
is a standard one. What we're going to do now is uh, do the example we did in the last tutorial, but using this Eclipse. For this, I'm going to go to the last tutorial. And we copy the code from the web XML. Here we are, Ctrl S to save. Let's close all this so we can see this better. What we did here was the declaration of two servlets, if you remember, time servlet and login servlet. Yeah, what we need here is only one servlet, so we delete this one, and we also delete its servlet mapping. Here we are, Ctrl S. Now we are going to copy the login HTML. Copy. We copy it in the web content folder. We create a new login finish. And we paste our code, Ctrl S. And lastly, the Java code of the servlet in source. Here it is. Okay. Here you can see we have our servlet, our web XML, our login HTML. And now we can click on login HTML, run as, run on server, finish. And the server starts. What did Eclipse do? We can see here what it has done. It has first publicated our application in Tomcat. This is known as deployment. This is the same as when we copy the folders in the web app. The Tomcat server was initiated. In Eclipse, we can see that besides the name of Tomcat in the server tab, we have a green icon here, this green icon, which tells us that the server is running. Um, we have a button here that we can stop the server. And the third point is it has open a browser or internal HTTP client pointing to where our project is here. We can also use our other server. We copy this. We go to our page, paint this, and here we are. We write edu for Java and early for Java and login OK. This is like the last tutorial. If we do it here, we've got the same thing. OK, this uh, tutorial finishes here. In the next tutorial, we will see the deployment of the application with this editor. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!